Lesson 5.7, Income Tax Basics. Our objective for this lesson is to be able to find gross income, adjusted gross income, and taxable income. We're going to need to define several terms in order to understand how income tax is calculated, starting with gross income. So gross income is all of your income for the year, including wages, tips, profits from a business, interest or dividends from investments, and any other income you receive. So this includes income that you may have received in a cash payment, say from a babysitting job, and it will also include um, any uh, interest on a savings account or other investment. So uh, gross income is essentially just everything that you've earned over the course of the year. Now, not all income is going to be taxed. And so we need to make some adjustments to that gross income. Adjustments to income are, is, this is income that's not taxed in the year that it was received, such as contributions to individual retirement accounts or IRAs and other tax deferred state savings plans. So when we talk about tax deferred savings plans, uh, traditional, uh, traditional IRAs and um, uh, uh, some college savings plans, other retirement plans, they're, they're not taxed now. They'll be taxed when you withdraw that money from your savings after you retire. But, but right now, any money that you're putting aside for, for college or for, uh, for retirement, as long as they're in these special tax deferred savings plans, that's not going to be taxable income this year. So we have to uh, remove those amounts from your gross income and that'll be your adjusted gross income. Then we have exemptions and deductions. Exemptions and deductions are amounts that are subtracted from the adjusted gross income before taxes are calculated. So deductions might include um, interest that you're paying on a home loan or uh, money that you have donated to charity. So these are things that you get to uh, subtract that from your gross income. And once you, once you subtract that, now you've, you've got your taxable income and that's the income that you're going to use to calculate your taxes. And we're gonna talk in the next lesson about how to calculate that tax. Um, once you've calculated the tax that you owe, you get to subtract tax credits. So tax credits are amounts that are subtracted from the tax you owe. This is, for example, the uh, uh, earned income credit or the child tax credit. This is amount that, amounts that get to be subtracted directly from the, from the tax after we've calculated how much tax we owe. Um, and then finally, once you have, uh, you've adjusted your income and gotten your adjusted gross income and then um, subtracted out any deductions and gotten your taxable income, figured out how much tax you owe on that taxable income, then subtracted out any tax credits, you're gonna need to know how much have you already paid in taxes? Because you usually don't pay all of your taxes at the time that you file your tax return. Um, instead, money has been withheld from your paycheck throughout the year. So this is called withholding. Withholding is the amount of tax that you have already paid through your employer throughout the year. Now that we know some of the terms involved, let's walk through the steps in a basic income tax calculation. We're gonna start with gross income. And then from that gross income, we're going to subtract our adjustments to the income. So gross income minus adjustments And that's going to give us our adjusted gross income. So this is gonna be So 
So gross income minus the adjustments to the income is going to equal the adjusted gross income. Remember, these adjustments will be generally uh, contributions to a tax-deferred um, savings plan, something like that. Uh, then we're going to take our adjusted gross income. So we'll take this amount, bring it up here, and subtract from the adjusted gross income our uh, exemptions and deductions. So from our adjusted gross income, we're going to subtract uh, exemptions and deductions, and we're going to get our taxable income. Then, uh, once we have our taxable income, we are going to calculate from that the amount of tax uh, that is owed on that amount of income. And this calculation, going from taxable income to the amount of tax, is going to be the subject of Lesson 5.8. So in the next lesson, we'll talk about how to get from here to here, from taxable income to tax. Once we have that tax, we're going to subtract tax credits. And the tax minus the tax credits is going to give us our total tax. Then we're going to take that amount, bring that up here. So the total tax will be the amount um, of, of tax that we owe for the year after we've subtracted out uh, our tax credits, after we've figured out what our taxable income is. Um, and uh, from that total tax, then we're going to subtract the withholding. Because we've already paid taxes throughout the year. So we're going to take the total tax, the amount that we are that we owe for the entire year based on our taxable income. Um, and we're going to subtract the withholding, the amount we've already paid, and that's going to give us the amount that we owe, or if it's negative, our refund. So if our withholding is more than what our total tax turned out to be, that's when we're going to get a tax refund. For our example, we're told that Catherine earned wages of $38,600, received $750 in interest from a savings account, and contributed $1,200 to a tax-deferred savings plan. She is entitled to a personal exemption of $4,050 and had deductions totaling $6,350. Find her gross income, adjusted gross income, and taxable income. All right, let's start with the gross income. Her gross income is going to be her wages, which was $38,600, plus that $750 that she earned in interest from a savings account. And so that's going to be a total of $39,000. Uh, $350. So there's our gross income. Now, adjusted gross income is going to be our gross income of $39,350 minus those adjustments to uh, gross income. And that was, um, in this case, the $1,200 that she uh, contributed to a tax-deferred savings plan. So that's going to be um, $38,150. So there's our adjusted gross income. Now for taxable income, we're going to take that, uh, that $38,150, and we're going to subtract the exemption 
of $4,050. And we're also going to subtract the uh, deductions of $6,350. So our taxable income, uh, well, let's see, $38,150 minus $4,000. And 50 would be 34,100. And then in, subtracting another 6,000, that would get us to 28,100. And then another 350, that's going to be a uh, taxable income of $27,750. So our gross income is 39,350. Our adjusted gross income would be 38,000. 150 and our taxable income would be $27,750.